life wisdom. Psyche Truth Massage. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Today I'm going to get Karina stoned. Have you ever been stoned? Not that kind of stones, you guys. I'm talking about hot stones. So today I'm going to be giving Karina a hot stone or lost stone massage. I'm just kidding. We're, no, we're going to, Karina's going to get, you know, lost stoned. So I love doing hot stone back massage because... A, it feels amazing to me. It feels amazing to my clients. And most of all, I get to play with rocks. Um, I love rocks. I love stones. I love gemstones. I love plain stones. Um, and so when I found out there was actually a massage class I could take that would teach me how to rub people with stones, um, I, I literally ran out and signed up. I, I don't normally do that, but I was so excited. And um, I'm not sure. I'm really hoping that as part of the videos, you'll be able to see how glorious these rocks are. Um, so the main reason I do hot stone therapy is because it's just more effective. My clients have more relief. I am able to... Basically, it's more efficient, you know, for the release that I get using stones versus, you know, trying to get the same release. And by release, I mean, you know, knots moving, um, tissues aligning, pain dissolving. You know, it takes about a third to a quarter sometimes of the effort to, you know, get a knot out of the trapezius with, you know, combining the hot and cold stones. Um, and so and I guess, you know, the, the, other, the other therapeutic piece to the stones is that you can incorporate temperature. And the therapeutic use of temperature has been around forever. Um, the, using hot and cold alternating in an alternating fashion stimulates the circulation system. In it well, you know, so basically anything, anytime, one of the main things that happens when you have a knot of tissue is that the circulation, the circulation uh, to that area is poor because it's a knot. There's a kink in the flow. And so um, I'll demonstrate right here. I'm going to just use this warm stone on Karina's trapezius. What this is doing is it's softening the tissue and it's bringing, it's opening up the blood flow. It's um, initially hot and cold stones have the same, uh, the body reacts by forcing blood to the area. Um, for cold, for hot stones, uh, the blood will just stay there because hot, hot releases, it softens. Um, and so we've kind of, you know, we've, I've done, so now I've drawn the blood in this knot to the surface. And so now I'm going to use my cold stone. Uh, this is um, here, so you can see, this is uh, sardonyx. Um, this is shaped. It's a type of marble. Um, marble holds, holds the cold. You know, oh, sorry, ha ha ha. Don't just randomly lay cold stones on your clients. Um, this is a, a river rock. This hasn't, I think this might've been polished slightly just to take like a rough edge off, but this is just pretty much what it looked like being picked up out of the river. Um, so I think I'm gonna use the, the pointier end. No, I'm gonna use the rounder end. So now that I have, everything's loosened. Now I can go in with this cold stone and just apply I'm holding it in there in the knot. And so this focused application of direct cold will force, it will, it will initially draw circulation. The shock will draw blood flow to the body, but then the cold will then disperse 
all of that blood, all of the new blood, all, but specifically all of the old blood that was kind of stuck up in her shoulders. And so when I do this correctly, you know, and there, there's hot, the, the thing about the, the La Stone is there is a bit of a learning curve, despite all of its marvelous benefits, or I guess that's why there's a learning curve, because there, you do get so much out of it. Um, if I do this correctly, it'll just feel, her, her knots will just melt. Now maybe they won't, won't melt away entirely, but they're gonna melt some. And you take a deep breath. Exhale, sigh. And so with her, I used her exhale to go a little bit deeper. And then now I'm just gonna compare and see, ah, yeah, her shoulder feels a lot looser, a lot smoother. And so in addition to these amazingly therapeutic benefits, um, one thing I love about hot and cold stone or La Stone, in addition to getting to play with all my pretty rocks, is that it helps me as a therapist. I, <laughs> I'm not a martyr. I, I really, I don't think that ultimately there's any benefit in me bringing harm to myself in pursuit of a specific goal. I, you know, for example, if I'm, you know, if I don't have the right body mechanics while I'm giving a bodywork session, I don't, I don't think it's as therapeutic. It's definitely not therapeutic for me, but I don't think that my client receives the same quality of treatment in a variety of, on a vari variety of levels. Um, I, I'm not going to be able to do the work that I do as well if my body is not aligned. And ultimately, I think that that means my client will not be able to release as much as they could if, you know, if my hips and my shoulders were aligned and I was breathing properly and present. Um, coconut oil in your hair. So I'm just gonna repeat that same hot or hot and cold technique on her other shoulder. Hmm. And so I'm trying to think like how you could possibly apply this at home. Um, maybe if you took a hot bath with Epsom salts or some and or some kind of relaxing essential oil appropriately mixed with the carrier oil, of course. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, if your words aren't slurring by the time you get up off the table, I haven't done my job. <laughs> See why I call it getting stoned? I, I'm considering writing it into my new client contract that you will you will take a walk for five minutes or you will sit quietly in your car for 10 before driving. Just be, you know, just getting on the table and being touched, first of all, like that takes us so far out of our regular sphere of experience. Other than to add something so therapeutically profound as a hot stone. I mean, we're just talking about a whole different level of conscious, like, we're, you know, Karina's literally, you know, without any crazy, you know, without any outside influences other than, you know, a rock and me, her body is literally changing her state of consciousness right now. Um, and that's the thing, like, people pursue these state changes, but ultimately they're all, they all occur, all, they all occur inside of us. They all occur as part of a natural, normal part of our brain. And it's just honestly more a matter of getting out of our own way. <sighs> I think body work's a great way to have a psychedelic experience. 
long as you're with a grounded, safe practitioner that you trust. <clears throat> oh, that's right. Cold stone. And so I was thinking like you could, if you were in taking a hot bath, maybe after your hot bath, after your, your tissues are all warm, you could apply an ice pack maybe to your upper shoulders, upper back, if those are tight. Um, huh. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what not. Hmm. Another way to therapeutically apply hot and cold at home is to... I know. I don't, I don't know if you think you're a tough person, but um, I think really only the really tough people can do this. <clears throat> but that is to alternate hot and cold showers. Like seriously, jump in, get all nice and warm and lobster red, let everything get steamy, and then turn the nozzle all the way to the cold and just stand there and let your whole body get chilled and... Um, yeah, let your whole body get super chilled and that will literally, it's its like jumping jacks for your circulation system. And, you know, you'll feel invigorated and awesome um, when you're done. You'll probably sound like a, like a squealing cat in the meantime. My, my roommates love it when I, when I do this in the morning. <laughs> um, Hmm. Speaking of noise, and so Karina, this will be just a little bit loud, but I think it'll help with this knot. Um, the stones, in addition to their weight and their heft and their ability to hold temperature, they also offer a their own therapeutic take on uh, tapotement and percussion. I'm sure you've seen on our other massage videos therapists demonstrating different types of percussion techniques. Um, this uses vibration, basically, to help loosen the muscles. And so, I just, Karina's got this really tight little knot thing going on. I know, honey, it's okay. Which, which she got sitting on a computer editing videos for you guys or doing research for, you know, her latest mystery grocery bag. And so, basically, the warn your client before you do this i'm going to just tap the rocks together and the forced focus vibration uh just will, will could potentially you know i've seen it just dissolve dissolve areas of tension so There we go. I just, I think, you know, the rocks, they add a whole new level of, they're just tools, you know, more tools in the toolbox. All right. <clears throat> so I've addressed some of the knots in her shoulders. I've done a few other kind of warm up strokes and so I think I'm just going to continue with that effleurage and the stones hmm. although I think Karina you said you had some low back stuff yeah And so see how I'm keeping my fingers in between her back and the hot stone? This is, a, this is a warmer stone. I'm introducing the stone to her tissue. 
because I don't want to I don't want anything to shock her I don't want, I don't want anything to startle and cause any kind of involuntary tightening okay so I'm finding that like that a nice like little kind of corner spot where you can kind of get at uh, quadratus longorum and I'm gonna tap again As of yet, I have not smashed my thumb in between my hammering stones, but I think it's just a matter of time. And so, I mean, just to kind of go back to kind of what I was saying earlier, I've de-knotted both her shoulders and now I'm de-knotting her, her lower back. I haven't engaged my thumbs once. I haven't you know, done any kind of like potentially damaging knuckle work. My hands are basically getting their own massage treatment by, you know, touching the hot stones. Not quite, but you know what I mean. And so with all of my massages, I like to make sure I balance the top and the bottom. Um, I always do the front and the back, but that was another video. So since we worked up in her shoulders, I want to make sure that I can help her shoulder muscles stay balanced for as long as possible. So that's why I'm coming down and addressing the different, this, uh, potentially corresponding knot in her low back. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. Kind of wedging the stone into the what I can feel to be the tensest spot, making sure that I'm braced and safe. like this video leave me a comment about if you've ever had a less stone or hot stone massage um, I don't know I kind of want to know like if you anyone has a favorite rock that they've seen so far I don't even think I pulled out my prettiest one either it's too bad So I'm just going to connect top and bottom with this gorgeous sardonyx cold stone. Mm. And so, I mean, honestly, if you're a therapist, I thoroughly, I thoroughly, I highly recommend um, becoming certified in less stone, both for your own, you know, really honestly for your own benefit, in addition to how much it helps your clients. And if you are, you know, if you like to give yourself body work at home, consider finding a river stone or, you know, I think you can purchase massage stones online or different massage supply stores. And just, you just having any, any, whether it's a wooden dowel or a stone, any kind of tool can be very useful when it comes to reducing back pain and body pain in general. All right.
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you found what you were looking for. Please check out my other videos on Psyche Truth. Subscribe to our channel. Like this video, you guys. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think. For more of me, for more of Melissa Lemonian, check out sensibletoolbox.com.